obviously, I mean, you guys, everyone's just happy with the big play. But kind of balancing the big play versus sustaining drives, how do you kind of balance those things when, when you go to hit a game plan? Uh, well, the first thing is, is you got to get your inventory. So when you go into a week like this or, or last week, uh, you, um, you, you get your plays that you know can get you certain yardage. Then you pick plays that you think uh, marry in with other plays and your shots, and then uh, you just got to, you know, feel the game out and how it's playing. What you dial up, the biggest thing is having the inventory, having the library that you can draw those plays from. Is there a time when, when maybe Coach Logan will come on and say, hey, let's see if we can sustain a longer drive here, show the defense your rest? Of course, of direction. course, yeah. Coach, he does a great job managing the game. That way, yeah, absolutely. A lot, lot, lot of conversations going on. Right here. Is it, is it, uh, Depending, depending on the play, you know, if, if, he, if he breaks one for, for 20, you know, he breaks the next one for 20, you know, you got to see how he's doing and where we're at in the game and how physically the game has gone. Can he go five in a row? I'm sure he can. You know, he's in pretty good condition. But uh, at the same time, we, we have to, we got, we, we need to know, you know how he's doing when he gets up in that pile or he gets up after that play. I know we'll manage the subs from that point. They got, they got really good personnel. Uh, watching their film, they play really hard. They do a lot of different things on defense that, that, that are uh, you know, complex. They got guys going everywhere. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know how much it's their defense. You know, I really don't. I, I see a, a team that's, that's talented. They've done a great job recruiting, and they make it very difficult from the offensive side to really figure out what they're doing and what they're in. Because if you watch their film, the guys are going everywhere and they're playing fast. I think it's a product of going against their offense that's a high tempo offense that has a lot of skill players where they do a really good job scheming their nickels and their dime players when they come in the game. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't see their record right now. I see them as a, as a team that's, that's, that's dangerous. The other thing is a Thursday night game. I, you play Thursday night games, right, before. What, what, what type of challenge does that present? It's a little different. I guess it's You hear that? <laughs> That's what we're going to hear Thursday night right there. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a big challenge. It's a big challenge, you know, especially in college football. You know, I think teams that come in on Thursday night, it's going to be a hostile environment. I think it's going to be loud. I think their team's going to be ready. Um, we're going to get their best this season, you know, and, and we need to be ready for that. You guys have been practicing crowd noise. Of course, of course. It's never like it's never like it, it. It's never the way it is in the stadium. You know, your adrenaline's going. Uh, you know, it's a physical. The game's physical, and then it's loud. You know, so you tr you try to you try to uh, simulate it the best you can, but it's never going to be the same as it is going to be that Thursday night. Along those lines, how important is the communication up front, especially considering you guys have been kind of rotating on on the offensive line and moved guys in different positions keeping guys fresh and, and rotating guys in. How do you keep that communication consistent? Are you trying to get my stomach to hurt, man? <laughs> Jesus. I'm, oh, my. No, I'm just kidding. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not on purpose. Yeah, yeah, it's very important. Very important. So guys need to be in tuned. And, and that's why we practice the crowd noise. And we make it hard in practice to switch guys in and switch guys out so that we're on the same page. And the biggest thing when you practice with crowd noise, it's because uh, the biggest thing is watching the film afterwards. That's the biggest teacher. Now we get back in there and say, hey, what happened here? Well, I thought this and I thought that. And then you can start cleaning things up where you can start saying, well, no, you know, you got to handle this call. Or quarterback, you need to redirect this play at that point. You know, and things got to be quick. It's got to be one syllable words. And that's how and that's how you can clean that stuff but up. No, but yeah, it's always a challenge. But I guess, uh, you know, you and Coach Keo and Coach Golden have complete faith in whoever's out there in the, in the front five to communicate well, get the job done. Correct. Yep. You guys have been, in the past three games, you've been about 55% on third down after you know, the start, not mm -hmm. close to that. Is there anything in particular you can point to? Yeah, I think guys are finishing. You know, I think, I think on third down, we've seen some really great catches and great routes and great throws. You know, I, I, think, I think when you can, when you can execute 
and you're dialed in, you know, and you catch the ball and, and you throw the ball and you make great reads and you protect, I think that helps you out on, on third down, right? That's that's the name of the game. How's Steven, how is Steven doing? A lot better. Cool yeah, really good. He's he's uh he's full go this week. You know he's he's practicing hard. You know, um, so he's doing good. Would you say it's a, is it a worry? You guys out of the that yet? Would I say it's a worry? I'm always worried. I'm always worried. Uh, but he's um, you know he's getting better every day. What does the Alan Hearns mean to the wide receiver group? The leadership. Yeah, it, a lot. He means a lot. He's a guy that uh, he's a rock in that group. You know, guys really look up to him, and, and when he, you know, funny, I was watching film from last year in the middle of the play, he's telling about three, three different guys what they needed to do in a particular concept. You know, he's smart. He's a former quarterback, Carroll City High School. You know, he's a... Of, of communication issues, right or not, there was an impression that maybe early on there was some between Steven and the wide receivers. Do you think, see those kind of cleared up? Yeah, I've seen it cleared up, you know. Um, you know, as as the seasons moved on, I, I've seen them, you know, gel with, with with that. And it's a and every week, you know, the gelling process with that, you know, starts off always on a Monday. You know, for us it was Saturday. You know, as a, you know, you start where well, you're not as tight as you are when you get into a a Wednesday practice. You know, and uh, but as the season goes on, you're not as loose on a Monday as you are from the beginning of the season, if that makes any, if that makes sense. So towards when the game, when the, cause you got, your, your game plan changes. So you, you want to be, uh, everybody wants to be on the same page uh, at the end of the week, you know, that's, and that's what's important. But I've seen that it's, it's been an improvement. Oh, Time to question. I, 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 okay. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about the top 10 ranking. You guys are now ranked 10. You're the same exact team, okay. same exact record, but you know what happens, especially with the, the kids on campus. And they'll get tweets, and people will be congratulating them, and it's going to get in their head. And I hope UNC not. knows it and is psyched up about that. How does that, how do you get them not to think about that? Well, I, th I think you got to, we, we got to still continue. I always talk about this, but you got to still continue with your goals, right? You know, nothing really matters besides your goals that you go into a particular week uh, with, you know, and, and for, and that's been our message, you know, coach talks about the process, but that's been our message to our, to our unit uh, every week. I mean, we're not even looking at the score. We're trying to figure out, you know, where are we at with our goals? You know, are we above 50% on third down? You know, are we 100% scoring in the red zone when we get in the red zone? Are those 100%, is that 80% touchdown? You know, what are we doing on first down? You know, that's some of the things we talk about on the sideline. Hey guys, we're, we're 40% on first down efficiency. All right, we need a great first down right here in this drive. So the scoreboard, the rankings, that's all gonna be there. You know, you just gotta control what you can control. And for our players is the goals, their goals. Thanks coach. Yep. Thank all you. Right. Yep. Thank you.